my name is Haven. I'm a pup, Bark Bark, and uh, I just wanted to take this opportunity to say hi and hug and uh, I miss you, Fluffs. And um, you know, we all want to go to cons and everything, but we're kind of stuck in our own little place right now. Um, but I just wanted to say hi and uh, uh, what else did I want to do? Oh, well, say hi, like I did that. And I also, I had a few questions from people about um, what exponential growth is and what's this curve thing and why do we want to flatten it, flatten it. So um, I thought I'd talk just a little bit about that and not be too mathy about it, but try and just explain, take a few minutes. Um, first, I want to talk a little bit about what exponential growth is and give you a little example. Um, so uh, mathematical growth, there's a lot of different types of mathematical growth. Um, exponential growth is the kind you hear about uh, for usually. And it just really means it grows really fast. Let me give you an example. Let's say that um, um, we made a bet or something. And, uh, and I had to give you um, a penny on day one. So, day one, give you a penny. And every day after, I double what I gave you on the previous day. So, uh, on day two, so here's day one, here's day two. Huh. How much money do you have now? Well, there's one cent I've given you, and on day two, uh, there's two cents. And then on day three, do the same thing. I'm going to double that. And that means that I'm going to give you four cents. And in all, you have what? You have one plus two is three, plus four is seven cents. And then you can keep doing this. And if you do this, um, by the end of the first week, you have 64 cents just on that last day. Uh, at the end of two weeks, um, on that last day, I've given you like $82. If you do this for a month, on that last day, you have like $5 million, literally, just from that day. So, uh... Find someone to play this little bet thing with, and you'll make lots of money. Anyway, so this is called um, exponential growth, and uh, um, and anything like this, where you're doubling or tripling over at every certain moment of time of a day or a month or whatever, that's called exponential growth. Now, I'd like to. Um, this relates to this whole curve thing, and so. I like to be uh, a little serious-ish, um, just to explain what this curve thing is. Um, uh, so let's do that. This is where I erase with an eraser from my posi. Oh, and by the way, the formula on the nth day, you make two to the n minus one uh, pennies, cents. If that makes any sense. Ha! Okay, I'm gonna erase. I am erasing. And if you do it fast enough, you're erasing it. Huh. Okay, so um, let's see here. Um, so, this curve thing that people are talking about these days. Um, so if you have um, a certain virus, say, um, and you're contagious, um, that just means that um, you can spread it to you know, other people, like when you get a cold and that type of thing. Um, so if you had a cold and if you were contagious um, and you spread it to, and if you were around two other people and gave it to two other people, and then if each one of those gave that to two other people, you're in the, the penny situation. So that's exponential growth. Um, now, this current uh, virus going around, the coronavirus, um, it, it's spreading like that, um, and it's exponential. So if on the vertical axis, <laughs> if this represented the number 
of, that says of infected. I'm not good at writing with my posies. Look, I'm writing into the graph. Um, people, I'll just abbreviate. Um, and if this horizontal line thingy represents time, time goes on. I want to change colors here because black is too monochrome. Monochrome. It's a word that happens sometimes. Um, so uh, as time goes on, like if no one did anything to social distancing and stuff like that, if we all just went about our normal lives, which is not what we're doing, so this is like, you might call it a worst case scenario, um, the graph might look like this. It's all exponential, goes up really fast. And, I mean, at some point, the number of infected people will go down because at some point, there's no one more to get that can be infected. So, it will go down at some point. Now, um, so this is, uh, I'll call this, if do nothing, for lack of better words. I am not good at writing. I apologize. <laughs> um, now, if we practice this social distancing and everything like that, and we're not coming into contact with people, um, then it's still possible we have still about the same number of people infected. Maybe, maybe not. But even if we did, that just means that over time, the growth isn't as fast. And so, um, and so even though it might take longer for the virus to dissipate, <laughs> um, the number of people overall is a lot less. Now this is, and this is what we're, we're trying to do. We're trying to flatten the curve. Now this is why this is really great, because there's this, you know, there's capacity issues, number of doctors and stuff like that. Um, and the number of people that can be helped might be, say, um, here. That's maybe capacity. Capacity. Um, and so if you flatten the curve, like we're doing, um, working on anyway, um, even though you're taking longer to do it, the number of people that can be helped is way within the limits, within the capacity limits. Um, so this is what the flattening the curve thing is, and why it's good, and, and we'll do it. I, I mean, we'll get through it. This is going to fluff to fluff again, and, and hug, and run around, and barks, and turns around, and stuff. See, I just turned around. It was amazing. Um, anyway, I hope this was informative and helpful to you, and um, I'll see you around sometime, and until then, um, exercise, eat well, um, play video games, and eat mac and cheese. Uh, so, see you next time. My name is Haven, or Clark.